a mid-season melt is the perfect opportunity for a hunt. But today, Jake Herrick isn't chasing lions. He's tracking his next meal. I got an empty freezer, and I definitely need to get some really good, clean meat. Mule deer are known to graze at high altitudes, where the terrain is steepest. Trying to find my way through the rocks here. It looks like I found a spot I can finally crawl through here. Jake's betting that the receding snow has reopened their feeding ground 6,000 feet up the mountain. But not for long. Once the deep freeze returns, the herd will be out of reach. Trying to find a spot I can poke through. This country is rugged as heck. You don't want to make a slip and a fall. Oh, Whew, close call there. Lost my footing a little bit. All right, I'm at the top of the hill. I just need to uh, make my way down to this rock point, do some blasts, and hopefully I can get them spotted. Oh, shoot, right there, sneaking out of the uh, brush there, chasing that doe. Let's see if I can't sneak down somewhere and get a shot at him. That doe is just streaking across the uh, hillside with the buck hot on her tail. I'm thinking they're gonna end up out on this point here. I'm gonna work my way down to this little rock knob and get set up to shoot. See if we can't get that buck. In the steep and jagged peaks of the Tobacco Root Mountains, Jake's moving in to get a clean shot. They're feeding across that hillside over there. He's been chasing the mule deer for three hours, and now, still 100 yards out of range, he can't risk letting the opportunity pass. All right, they're working their way up towards that ridge there. The buck's following the doe. Well, looks like a good hit. Doesn't look like he's quite tipping over yet. Big game like this 200-pound buck get a surge of adrenaline when wounded, enough to run for several minutes after a hit. He's heading up over the hill. At this distance, there's no way to confirm a kill. All right, I better get over that ridge and get that buck track down. Just hoping we can turn up some blood here somewhere and track him down. This area right here is about where I thought he was standing. He could be anywhere out here. They usually tend to go downhill when they're shot. They'll try to find a hole or something to lay in. There he is. Woo! All right, he got us a nice mature buck. He's got a nice body on him, lots of good meat. The full-size buck will provide nearly 70 pounds of meat to last through the end of winter. But breaking down such a large kill takes a skilled hand. We don't want to be out here after dark with uh, fresh meat on our back. There's bears and mountain lions out here, and it's a wild place. It's wild animals. This is their home, and meat's what they eat. When I butcher my deer, and the processing of it is just uh, something I, I love to do. This, to me, is what keeps me going. There's nothing like outsmarting the uh, smartest animals out there and doing it yourself. All right, over the mountain I go. This nice buck here is going to provide me with a lot of good meat through the winter time to keep me out and about running lions and keep me chasing them hound dogs. Got a lot of work ahead of me. Work's just begun and we'll be back at it again tomorrow.